So this is how it all played out under the roof at the Sapporo Dome. England up against Tonga, and many have predicted a blowout in favour of the English. But Tonga hung tough all night long. Manu Tuolangi was enormous in the first half, very nearly sending away Underhill for what could have been the first try. Yes, Sam Underhill very unlucky to be denied there by desperate Tongan defence. Pretty soon after that, of course, England set the scrum and putting that disappointment behind them. It was Big Manu Tuilangi who'd got them down there in the first place. And over he goes. Power, strength, keeping on his feet and fighting all the way. And the first try for England. Somehow Manu got a blade of grass to connect with the gill, but in and amongst that pile of bodies and Paul Williams was on the spot to say, yes, it's OK for Tuolangi. And then he was into the play again. Not long after that, they went wide through May. And then it was Manu on the inside, chasing number two. Yeah, absolutely. Some slick hands from the English back line. Elliot Daly getting the ball out quickly to Johnny May, who set up that try. This was just after half time. A check shot off the ball gave England the chance to extend there and then it was to the line out they went it took a while for it to stick but when it did jamie george was in the middle for the english yeah once they got the go forward here england they just couldn't be stopped and they spit across the line jamie george at the end there dumping on the ball a good five pointer for the english pack who worked hard all night and they had to and they needed to lean on their reserve 23 Jonathan Joseph to help put away their reserve hooker to grab the bonus point win over Tonga.